Hey guys, it's Mike from Bright Eye Tactical. I um, wanted to give you guys a review of the G-Code inside the waistband clip uh, and compared to the uh, multi-holsters clip or the DIY clip. They're both about the same. I wanted to give you guys a quick review of them when it comes to appendix carry and how that I carry my own gear. Um, first off, um, this is the this is one of our Glock standard mag pouches or provider series, completely ambidextrous. They normally come with the inch and a half quick clip and you can wear them on either side. They have adjustable retention. Uh, and then this is the new G-Code inside the waistband clip. Um, it seems to work okay. Uh, it's a good idea, but I think it's got some improvement that needs to work, that needs to happen. Um, it works well, um, but there's some downsides and I wanted to share those with you tonight. And so first things first, um, it, is, it is injection molded. Um, it has a lot of, uh, it's really stiff, let me just put it that way. It's really stiff, which is, which is what I like. I like stiff things. It's not gonna come off the, <laughs> that sounded bad. It's not gonna come off your belt at all. Uh, and the downside is that it sits too, it sits lower than what your belt, it sits lower than your belt line. That's what I don't like. So if it's if you're gonna wear it inside the waistband, your belt your belt comes up to right here on the magazine. It comes up really really high on the magazine. So then it makes your magazine sit lower than what you intended it to sit, and it kind of makes you change your molding um, up a little bit. And then the other downside is that the the part here that clips over your belt is not as wide as the quick clip. So the footprint uh, at the very, very bottom of the clip is narrower. So then what that allows it to do is it allows it to wobble a little bit. So then if you bend over, if you move, or you sit down in a car, you're gonna have to readjust the mag to where you want it to be versus how you're standing. Um, I like my gear to sit still whenever I put it on. I don't want it to move at all. And that's what's, hap that's what's more happened with this. Um, I have it canted backwards a little bit, so it'll be a little bit easier in the draw. But um, wearing this is by far more comfortable to me, and it seems that it sits um, closer, and it actually sits the mag a little bit higher, but it also still conceals just as well in comparison to this. So on cost, this is definitely more cost effective, and I would rather have this, have the quick clip over the GCO clip. I'm gonna show you guys a couple close-ups on how they actually fit so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's what I've got. I've got my Glock 19 Red Eye Tactical inside the waistband holster and I've got our provider series with the G-Code clip. Uh, the magazine sits lower, um, it definitely does. Um, the clip, the clip just, like I said, it makes the, makes the the mag pouch sit lower than how it's actually molded, so it's actually more. It, you can't get as good of a purchase on the magazine when you want to draw it. Um, so I mean, it conceals just as well, but it's not as easy to get out. It sits lower, so uh, I'm gonna change it out. See, I even had to clip the belt over on top of it to keep it from moving as much. Let me show you our other one. So for me, it sits a little bit higher. I can get a better purchase on it. I can come up higher on the magazine. And for me, that's very important. I like how that works. Um, it does conceal just as equally, uh, equally as well. So it's really not an issue at all. Um, but I can get more grip on it. And it sits higher. And it doesn't move nearly as much just because of um, of how the construction of the bottom lip of that clip is. All right guys, so you've seen the two different mag pouches and how they work um, and the difference in the clips. Uh, you can see a, more of a close-up of that clip. Uh, I like it, but it's got its downsides. We're gonna try another couple designs with it maybe and see if it works any better. Um, but for me, I think the, the clear choice for me is still using the, the standard um, quick clip uh, and it, they are completely ambidextrous. Um, so would these if they were, they were made, um, if we made them to be that way. But um, I definitely like these better. Um, 
this was just one of those videos I wanted to do that would hopefully educate some of our customers a little bit more on the different options and how those options can be purchased and what they are. We're going to do more videos about, about the different types of holsters and the different types of uh, retention systems and the different types of attachments and so on and so forth so that you guys understand and you know when you're ordering something, you can see it in action before you get it uh, on a video and you don't have to ask any questions. You don't have to email us. You can just look up the videos on our website and you'll be able to tell what you're going to get before you get it so you know what you're looking at. So um, with that, uh, this will be the first video. We'll have some more to follow soon. So hope you guys have a great evening and we'll talk to you guys soon.